Hi, Peter Wood here again for True North Marine Training with our presentation for the Short Range Operator Certificate of Proficiency Answers to Exam Questions. This is presentation number one. As we've mentioned in the past, there are 131 exam questions available uh, from the bank that the OMC can draw their final exams from. So this is this uh, presentation is designed to give you the answers to the, those questions and um, hopefully you'll be successful in the final exam. So here we go with question one. What action would you take after receiving a distress call? D is the correct answer. Get ready to write down in the radio logbook any distress message that may follow. Question two. What would you do next after receiving a distress alert by VHF DSC? Again, D is the correct answer. Stand by VHF channel 16 and be prepared to write down in the radio log any signals heard. Question three, what is the purpose of a working frequency? A working frequency is to exchange messages and public correspondence, so C is the correct answer. Question four, what do the first three digits of a vessel's MMSI indicate? They indicate the country of registry. Australia's code is 503. Question five, what is the correct phonetic spelling of the boat name Lady Daphne? So D is the correct answer. Lima, Alpha, Delta, Yankee, Delta, Alpha, Papa, Hotel, November, Echo. Question six, what is the correct phonetic spelling of the boat name Jacaranda? A is the correct answer. Juliet Alpha Charlie, Alpha Romeo, Alpha November, Delta Alpha. If you're not familiar with the phonetic alphabet, you should uh, do a little bit of study in that area. And there it is on the screen for you. Question seven. What Australian organisation issues DSC identity numbers? What answer does that? The Australian Maritime Safety Authority, and you make an application on Form 89. Question eight, what does the urgency signal PAN PAN indicate? C is the correct answer. The descending station has a very urgent message to transmit concerning the safety of a vessel, aircraft or person. Question nine, what other navigational equipment is recommended to be interfaced with the DSC? And that would be your GPS, your position locating in this device. A is the correct answer. Question 10, what does the safety signal Securite indicate? Securite is used when the vessel has a weather or navigational warning to transmit. There's an example of a safety message that you'll get from the uh, Marine Radio License Handbook. Question 11, what type of station will be issued with an MMSI preceded with 00? That's related to coast stations. There's the explanation from the handbook on the bottom of the screen. D is the correct answer. Question 12, which of the following describes duplex tele radio telephone operation? So duplex is two-way simultaneous speech communication using paired frequencies. B is the correct answer. Question 13, what expression should be used to acknowledge a distress message, a received distress message? And you should respond by saying received mayday. A is the correct answer. Question 14, what does the transmitter power selector control on a VHF marine transceiver do? It allows you to vary the power of the transmitting signal. So the maximum power is 25 watt, but you can reduce that down to one watt, in some cases five watts. So uh, to avoid interference um, to other stations, you should 
go down to the lower power unless it's necessary for distress, etc. So B is the correct answer. 15. Are radio telephony transmissions permitted on the VHF channel allocated for digital selective calling? Well, the answer is no, they're not. So D is the correct answer. What channels are used for the exchange of general or routine communications? C, working channels is the correct answer. Question 17, which best describes the antenna for a marine VHF transceiver? There's the explanation from the handbook. It's a short vertical whip or rod. A is the correct answer. Question 18, how long is the operational time of a SART? A SART can be in standby mode for 96 hours and then an additional eight hours of transmission time. So B is the correct answer. Question 19, what radio telephony priority signal should always be used before distress traffic? And the answer is C, Mayday. Question 20, what type of fuse should be used to replace a blown fuse in the radio power leads? So you should only use fuses recommended by the manufacturer. So A is the correct answer. So there you have uh, presentation number one for the short range operator certificate of proficiency answers to exam questions. Thanks for your time and uh, keep a lookout for the following presentations that will come with the remainder of the questions.